Hello everybody and welcome to this quick tutorial here. I'm going to show you how to draw end caps on an island. Uh, what we're going to do is get started, just draw a line, uh, draw a quick wall uh, in your plan view and then go over here to the type, change it over to a peninsula and then you're going to want to draw, there's a lot of different ways of drawing an island but uh, you're going to draw two more like this. In fact, let's change this down to a, a regular island length. Um, now the end caps need to be as long as your cabinet uh, itself. Uh, so, for example, let's say you want to order a, you know, your end cap at, say, uh, the width of your end cap, I'm sorry, is going to be, let's say, 24. Same thing over here. Change these, uh, these, these walls to peninsula, and you're going to be able to place an end cap on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a couple of uh, two-door base cabinets, or whatever we need there. And then I'm going to go through, I'm going to find my end cap, which is right here. Now, see what I've done here? I was able to add, oh, this is not right, i got to change the back. Make sure you change your back to unfinished. I guess you really need to if you're doing it, but I like it because it looks better. All right, so i got my end cap right here. Uh, the depth and the width uh, have to do with how big your pieces are. So I think you can go down to four inches in depth for this guy. Uh, I'm going to make this one 26 inches in depth. I'm also going to change this wall so that it comes up to the front of the cabinet. So I'm going to make that wall 26 inches in length. And that's also going to make my end cap a little bit uh, bigger. So as you see here, what I've done is I've drawn the end cap onto the end of uh, this cabinet. All right. Uh, another thing you want to do, uh, if you want to, let's just say you want it to overlap. Let's say you don't like this right here where you want this thing to actually come out 5 eighths flush. You can actually increase the width of your end cap Sometimes it'll let you go over, but it did not on that space. So what I did right there, I'm going to show you that again. Look, I'm grabbing this little this little yellow point. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to hold my control button down. I'm going to grab it. I'm holding it down. I'm not letting go of the control button. So the bottom left of the keyboard is what I'm holding down right now with my other hand. No, you can't see it. So I can pull it any way I want. And that control button basically says, look, don't snap it to points. Now my mouse is clicked on it, and I can click it wherever I want. And that breaks it from its from its standard. So now what I can do is I can actually say the width of this one went to be 26.625. That's the width. Or 26.75, whatever you want. <clears throat> so it's not snapping to that wall. It's actually overhanging the wall just a little bit now. So that's what I've done right there. Let's just say you want it to be overhanging on this side. I'm doing again the same thing. I'm holding the control button down. I'm moving this thing up and down. So look at that. So we had 26.75. I'm going to add 0.75. So... I want it to overhang three quarters of an inch here. And then I would put a bar back, an island bar back right there. So let's do the same thing over here. And I'm just going to draw these in real quick. Copy and paste. Yeesh. So i got to change this wall over here as well. Remember there's a wall right here, there's a peninsula wall. I'm going to change that to 26 because my cabinets are 26 inches deep on the island. There we go. And I'm going to move over here. I'm, I'm changing my clearance. So I got two and a half inches, which is obviously not what I want. Uh, on the right, I want 0.75 to cover up. Whoops, what am I doing? Wow. Sorry, these things are getting confusing for me. So, uh, so left, I guess left would be over here. So I want that to be negative 0.75. Let's try that and see if it works. There we go. That actually worked this time. So what I was doing is I was just lining this thing up. The w there just needs to be some wall. So the way cabinet vision works is it wants you to have a wall to, to put all of your cabinets on. If you don't have a wall, then it's not going to work. All right, so that's it. And then I just put a bar back on there uh, on the back of the island. So that's pretty much what we got. There's your island with the end caps on it. Yeah, it's a little bit more of a tricky area, but, you know, it makes the, it makes the island look nice. Okay. Okay, the other question you had was uh, how to get crown molding off of the project. Really annoying when you get crown molded on there because it messes up all your clearances. I got a job right there. I just went and I added crown molding. I'm going to do auto build just real quick just so I can get some crown molding on there. Now you're looking at how do I get rid of it. Two different ways. One, you can go back over here, click crown molding. Okay, get back into that view. You can right click on the crown molding and you can say delete. I'm going to put it back on. Another way to do it 
is to go over here right click anywhere on the whole screen and say delete all. You have to be in that crown molding tab. You have to actually click the crown molding, but you have to be in this, this screen, right click, say delete all, and that'll delete everything. And that's pretty much it. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you. Have a good day.